Mixtape chat. When your chat is full of nothing but flame. Like seriously, we could use a fire extinguisher up in here. This is nothing but like fire going on. Because that's the thing. League isn't toxic. That's not hatred and flame. People are just trying to spit their mixtape before the end of the game. That's all. Get rich quick. Do what you need to do. Do you. Banana split. When you're playing as Soraka and you have to focus between healing your teammates and dishing out enough damage with the spell to get some healing back, to continue healing your teammates, especially when there's multiple teammates you have to heal and they won't stand still even though the team fight isn't chaotic, like you could just stay here and then I could just make this job easier. You're making my job harder. Or, when you're playing against a Soraka and your team is split whether to focus her or not focus her, and in reality, you can focus her, you just don't want to use all your ultimates on her. But at the same time, sometimes you do because you just want her to die. You don't... I know we're not supposed to maybe use all the ults on her, but you died at least. We lost the team fight, but at least you died. Jeez, uh, you know what? I mean, I don't really find Soraka as annoying as some other people do, but I... I, I get it sometimes, you know what I mean? There's some games you play where you're like, that champion ain't really annoying, and then you play the game against him, you're like, you know, they might have moved up a little. I get it. I get it now. Okay, I'm sorry. I get it. Facebook meta. Pretty much just a poke-heavy meta. So pretty much like Facebook, where people like to poke you like your bubble wrap. I'm sorry, I'm not bubble wrap, but bubble wrap is insanely fun, so I get it. Don't get me wrong. Or actually, you could really call it the Twitter meta, since Twitter is pretty much becoming Facebook 2.0. What is up with that white background on the web page? I don't know. That was a terrible idea, Twitter. Midnight game. When the game goes so late, you have to contemplate sleep. And I'm not talking like a 40, 50 minute game. I'm talking like we've gone into an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. And for some reason, winning a team fight still isn't even finishing the game. Maybe you had a bad comp, of course, maybe you don't really have a sieging comp, you don't really have wave clear, so it's really hard to push in a, you know, an objective or just a lane when you get a win, but at the same time, like, come on, man. I thought I was going to maybe be able to fit in two games in this time period. I fit in one. I got work, and maybe that means I shouldn't have been playing at all, but at the same time, who would have thought? Shadow the Hedgehog. When a teammate decides he needs to avenge a teammate that just died. Even though it's not a good idea, perhaps. Even though maybe they got caught out and maybe deserved it. Maybe they did not. It's fine. Especially happens when people are duoing and their duo partner died. And they're like, my duo partner died. That, that can't happen with a dynamic duo. I gotta go get him now. That's not a good idea. Because all you're gonna do, just like in Sonic Adventure 2, you're just gonna Armageddon someone's promos playing like that. And that's not a good idea. 27 minute and 53 second game down the toilet that was actually won. Snatching defeat out of the jaws of victory. Good job. Split team push fighter. Split team push fighter. It's a combination of obviously split pushing and a team fighter. And yeah, there are some champions that can kind of do both for whatever reason. Fiora. Um, at the same time, if you're gonna split push, commit to the split push. Or if you're gonna team fight even though you pick the split pusher, then at least commit to the team fight. Why are you TPing to the team fight your team already lost and three people are dead? You're pretty much saying, hey, I want to 1v5. In which case, uh, it's just really bad. We saw this at IEM with North America where we see CLG, Darshan, he's a good player. I'm not saying he's not. I'm just saying when your team's already two people died, why are you TPing in now? You should be TPing proactively, not reactively in that scenario. Otherwise, just keep pushing that lane and make them pay for killing two of your teammates by taking their tier two or pushing into their base. I, uh, uh, it was so frustrating to watch. And then TSM with their, we have a split pushing comp, but we're still going to group as five anyway. Which, yeah, Fiora, for example, she has like the AoE ult. She can team fight, but should you be team fighting is the question. We don't know. We'll find out in the title of the next TSM episode when they say, this went wrong, but actually it's a building process. Last Blood. 
When you give up the kill that potentially ends the game, arguably in my opinion worse than first blood, because at least if you give up first blood, you might then proceed to body everybody afterwards, right? You might start 0-1, but you end 13-1, and, and then, you know, the first blood was first blood, but in the grand scheme of things, who cares, right? But if you give up that last kill that costs your team the entire game, you ain't hearing the end of that for the, like, the rest of the day, especially if you were duoing, right? But even if, even if you weren't duoing, like, they were just gonna lay into you while you're at gray screen, while the after screen is going on, while my voice is cracking. Knuckles the Echidna. When both your Nexus towers are down and it's your job to guard the Nexus with your life against a TP play, against a backdoor, against whatever. But unfortunately, just like the Master Emerald, there's a high chance it's just going to fail and get shattered anyway. So, I mean, you did your best, but that's all you can do. So that is all for this edition of League Turns of Legends Volume 2. I don't know when Volume 3 is going to be, because this just comes up as I create turns as I go along. Um, but by all means, I guess feel free to use these turns if you want. It's not like, you know, I own them or anything, whatever. If they're not even really that good, I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what the next video is going to be, because life is full of a lot of kinks. But until next time, take care. GG. Get jinxed.